Here we have a related rate problem, and this tends to be an easier one because we can work out, we can figure out the relationship equation quite easily. So it says here the rate at which pancake batter spreads to increase the radius of a circular pan circular pancake is given by the change in radius over the change in time is five centimeters every six seconds. So that means that the the pancake is growing at uh, or spreading and making a bigger circle at a rate of five centimeters every six seconds. So we want to find out the rate at which the area of the pancake is changing when the radius is three centimeters. So the first thing is we need to come up with the relationship. What are we relating here? We have the radius okay, and we want to know the area. So how do we connect those two uh, quantities? Well, that's, we just use the area formula. So the area is equal to pi r squared. Okay, so that's the first thing. We need to know what the relationship is. So the next part of related rates is we want to differentiate this implicitly with respect to time to generate this dr by dt. And at the same time, we want to generate a dA by dt because we want to know the rate at which the area is changing. That is dA by dt. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight that. Okay, so this is the change in area over the change in time. Okay, so differentiating this, we end up with dA by dt, since we're differentiating with, with respect to time, is equal to pi times 2 R. We're going to differentiate the outside function and then apply the chain rule, which then is where we're going to generate the dr by dt. So there's our dr by dt. Okay, we've been given that quantity. So at this point, what we do is we're going to just substitute in all the known parts and solve for the unknown part. So the dA by dt is what we're solving for. So then we need to plug in all the other parts of this relationship. Okay, so we have the radius is 3 centimeters, so I'm going to substitute that in for my radius. So dA by dt, dA by dt is equal to pi times 2, the radius is 3 centimeters, and dr by dt is 5 centimeters per 6 seconds. Hey, and I should really put in my units here. I can see that the units will be consistent. So there's my substitution. And then I'm just going to calculate, in this case, dA by dt. So dA by dt is equal to, uh, that's going to be 6 divided by 6. So it's going to be 5 pi centimeters squared per second. Okay, so there's my dA by dt.